Hi there, my name is Liam, technical manager here at the Prima, otherwise known as the Almanac. Today we'll be showing you the Dawa Solar Solution. I can't remember the part code off the top of my head, it is quite long, so what we'll do is a bit of video editing, we'll check the part code in around here for you, for your reference. So it's made up of three key components, that being the solar panel and the bracketry, the battery and also the camera. So what we'll do, we'll show you these in individually and go through them in detail and then we'll go through the setup together and show you the benefits of using this for remote locations where there may be no power uh, and no internet for, you can use this for, I don't know, remote monitoring, uh, remote locations, uh, rapid deployment solutions and even temporary installs if required. So let's, let's show you each of these key components and then we'll go through the setup together. So firstly we'll cover this, as you can see this is a solar panel um, it is a rather sturdy construction, it can withstand winds up to about 100 mile an hour. Um, it is fully adjustable, so you can adjust this where it's been sighted, so whether it be flat on a wall or whether it's pole mount, as the pole mount adapter is actually included in the kit itself. It does have a uh, maximum power point tracking charging controller, so it gives you better um, control over your batteries, up to 30%. Um, better life with your batteries. It does have an aviation style adapter for the battery connection. And on the bracketry where your camera sits, it gives you a 12 volt DC output and also an RS45 interface. And um, what well, this 45 interface gives us a MOBUS protocol, uh, so you can uh, have communication between uh, the camera and the solar solution, so you can identify if there's any problems with the battery, and it gives you the battery uh, readings live on the screen via the OSD. So the battery itself, so this is a 45 amp hour battery, which is bolted to the bottom of the panel. Um, and there again is the female version of the Aviation Star connector. Um, this charges up, it's IP rated and it's 45 amp hours. So as you can see, it's quite a monster of a unit. Um, we're gonna get this put in situ and then you can see how it goes together. And last but not least, let's show you the camera. So here's the camera. This is a three series camera, um, ultra low power. Uh, it does have 50 meter IR on it. Let's take this off and I'll call it if you like clean these off on install. So this is a three series camera, as I said, with a 4G. So no additional network cables required. Um, it does have the 12 volt input on the tail um, that can be connected to the solar solution. Uh, also the network cable if you do need to connect and do any programming. Um, also it has RS45, again, as I said, with the solar panel, it gives you RS45 outputs. So it, can, so it gives you on-screen display of the battery and what's going on with that. Also has audio in and audio out. So you could use this as a full monitoring solution. Obviously, but those devices may require power and also alarm in and out, so you could have external devices such as Luminite, GGD, whatever it may be, to trigger alarms sent to your monitoring platform. So the camera itself, like I said, it's got a 50 meter IR on there. It benefits from the AI engine and also SND, so it, you can be used in multiple applications. Um, it does have the ability for human and vehicle detection, again, giving you better alarms, uh, reduced false alarms, and again, can be used for multiple applications. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this chucked up on a column, and we'll go through some of the web page setup on there and get this tested and show you the results. So now we have the camera mounted up on a post, as you can see, it's in a partially rural location. Um, the charging power is 12.8 watts and the state of charging so the battery is 100%. Uh, the charge is actually the, be the best charging it can be so that's perfect and the battery status is normal. All this information is gathered via the 45 connection of the camera itself and obviously the solar solution. Um, we have the generic uh, video so we can do conditions, uh, we can edit the video so we can change the encode rates, resolution and things like that. Also the audio, um, obviously the camera does have a built in microphone. Or the option for line in if you need to use that facility. However, for the setup for the 4G application, you need to go to network 4G, uh, reconnect to the EE network. So, you do have to put in some network information. Um, so, the APN for that is this generic information here. This is readily available online. Or, if you speak to your SIM card provider, they can also give this for you. And what it will also give you is your wireless signal. So, once this is all connected, Ignore all this blurred information. This is just IP addresses uh, used for the SIM card, um, and then you'll see your wireless signal. As you can see, it's eighty-three percent, so we're well within the boundaries. So we shouldn't have any problems uh, with signal. So where this comes into its own is this camera does have the ability for uh, perimeter protection. Uh, just click back. As you can see, we have a um, intrusion area set up. So anything coming 
through the gates or exit in through the gates. So generating an alarm that would be pushed then to the, you know, the DMSS application or DSS if needs be. Um, as you can see, that it does change states of the day, obviously with the sun or if it's cloudy, whatever the, the weather, the environment, it does change state there uh, quite regularly. Um, or you have the option to put SD cards inside. Um, if you put an SD card, you can see we have markers there. Prevent it or happened. Um, click on one. As you can see, that is through there. This is for video motion detection. Um, as you can see, even in a rural location at night, at almost two o'clock in the morning, as you can see, you have no problems with illumination. Should be easy, be able to see um, anyone coming through the premises. And as you can see, it also shows you there. So the charging power is zero because there's obviously no light there. Um, state of charge is seventy five percent. It's dropped twenty five percent. Um, charging is idle as then is not charging. But the battery state is also normal. And if you go to the morning, if we jump up to here. What will happen is it does quite quickly charge up as you can see by eight o'clock in the morning jump back up to 91 percent so it does give us the ability to charge quite quickly so this solution is rapid deployment and um, three series cameras so uses ai and um to reduce your false alarms so again so construction sites rapid deployment solutions rural such as this no power no um internet connection this is a perfect application for this product um, as you can see this is working absolutely perfectly if you have any further questions please don't hesitate to get in touch with myself or any of my colleagues here at the prima um, these solutions are already available um, don't forget to like share subscribe thank you again for watching this video much appreciated for your support catch up with you again soon